What does it mean to have the world premiere for Ready Player One opening here in your hometown? I feel like all the stars have aligned and uh, we're all so lucky to be here and thanks to South by Southwest for having us. And uh, I mean, this is so cool because I live here and Ernie Klein lives here and wrote the book. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's a great home for the, for the movie to premiere at because, you know, there's a mashup of film and interactive and tech and uh, I think Austin's a perfect place to have the world premiere. Great. Were you familiar with the book before you started this role? I I, I, I I hadn't read the book before I heard that uh, Steven Spielberg was doing the movie, and um, so I auditioned for the film, and, uh, and then I got the film, and then I read the book a couple times before shooting, and uh, I just, I mean, hats off to Ernie Klein, it's such a wonderful book, and you know, he creates a world that's, that's pretty believable in 2045, and uh, I think that's why it's become such a phenomenon. And if you were going to uh, create an avatar for yourself, what would it be? I got asked this question earlier, and I didn't know what kind of avatar it would be, so I would just say that at this point I would have to replicate my my avatar from the film, Parson. <laughs> you know, although the movie takes place in 2045, I think it's very relevant because in the movie people are escaping to a virtual world and they're neglecting the real world and um, you know if you look at where we are today you know everybody has social media and a digital platform um, and sometimes they focus more on that than they do uh, on themselves and uh, so I think this movie is going to be super super impactful and super relevant for today in 2018.